there, treehouse lovers. My name's Graham Reid. I'm a master glass blower and I live down in Devon. I'm going to demonstrate a little bit of glass blowing, and today I've got Carolyn, who's a friend in the village at Beer Elston, the centre of the universe, and we're going to do a little bit of demonstration to show you the sort of thing that we'll do when we are doing the Treehouse Festival in 2021. Part of the training exercise involves the beginner, who will be Caroline making a nice glass, glass bulb from blowing from this. I've prepared these points from some tubing that looks like this. And what I've done is I've mounted the glass down, make some points, and first I want to just demonstrate that pulling stage. So, you can see that I've got my left and right hands supporting a piece of plain tubing. Nice blue flame. Notice that there's very little splash, so I can hold my fingers quite close. So the glass blowing is generally safe if you follow a few basic rules. And I just heat and turn, heat and turn, heat and turn. Keep pulling and stretching. Just turn at the end when it goes hard. And that's that. I can stop again. So. What Caroline will be doing, we'll be copying what I'm doing now. So we've got a point here on the right hand side. Just gently pull that away. Notice how the glass starts to melt, melt starts to gather back. A wee little puff. The trick in glass blowing is knowing where to put the flame and the glass. So the glass here is in the flame just behind the domed end. The blowing makes it swell just like a balloon and thins the wall. So we've got a nice, nice wall. Don't know if you can see that easily or not. You might see it better with a white background. So the next stage is a slightly softer flame. Heating the body, keeping the flame away from this part back here because that's thin and it'll flop over. Now you, technically you can't melt glass because it's already a super cooled liquid. So what I'm doing is getting it nice and hot. As it gets hot, it behaves like a real liquid and the surface tension makes the glass gather just like honey on the edge of a spurtle. Lo and behold, on board. Stop. OK, now it's very important and I always do a safety uh, check before we start letting somebody sit at the glass blower's table or chair. It's most important to always take very careful note of what the expert tells you. That's most vital because whilst it is technically safe, there are so many little things that can occur that are dangerous. For example, if I was to hold this bulb now, which I've just blown, that would certainly burn me. Now I know it's hot. So you have to remember something like which bit's hot and where did you put it down? And otherwise, the important thing is knowing how to avoid cutting yourself. Thank you. Hi, I'm Carolyn and I've never done this before, so I'm very interested to see how you do it. Well done, Caroline. Right, the first thing is you're going to show people how we just um, practice turning the glass. So if you could just show that, please, Carolyn. So you're holding the glass with your palm facing down. Yep. That's it. And you're pinching and turning, bringing my hand in close to show the film. That's it. You pinch and turn, pinch and turn, using the tips of your fingers. And you have to have a bit of glass through the back of your hand. So if you'd like to try the practice blow, please, you bring it up like so. Okay. So that's it. Glass in, get the flame close into the corner by the big diameter. Keep turning, make sure you keep turning the left hand side. That's it, dump that there, Carolyn, well done. And then back into the flame, glass at an angle. It's coming close so we can see what's going on. Have the glass coming through the flame slightly. That's it, nice pinch and turn, that's good. That's good, excellent. Take it out and give it a little blow, keep turning as you go. Excellent. So 
So nice easy turning, heating just onto the shoulder so that the thick part is just coming through the flame. The key thing for all beginners is learning to turn the glass evenly and keeping it in the right part of the flame. And it is difficult, isn't it, Carolyn? It is difficult. <laughs> yeah. But you're doing very well. That's excellent. Just a bit further in the flame, keep turning. Get back up onto the shoulder a touch more. That's very good. And I think it's time for a little blow. Take it out and blow gently, harder. That's excellent. Okay, in we go again. This time we're hoping to uh, blow the bulb shape. So bring the flame along more onto the onto the parallel part of the tubing. Make sure the glass is nicely in the middle of the flame. That's it. Go in a bit further. Heat a bit further to the left. Keep it in the flame a bit more. Keep those fingers nicely relaxed. We'll take it out to do a nice blow. Blow as hard as you can. Excellent, excellent, excellent.